Welcome back guys, this guide is a direct sequel of my previous guide, the Comprehensive Mighty Omega Guide for Beginners. If you guys haven't watched that yet, I suggest checking that out first, but with that being said, if you guys have followed that guide to a T and you're around 50 TP at least, you're ready to learn some of these advanced tips and tricks to make the game easier at a higher level. I'll be discussing how you can better allocate your stats for the build you're going for, some good move sets for the styles you're going for, getting flow and just fighting NPCs in general, edits and some other little things you guys have asked me in the comments of my recent videos. So let's get into that. Uh, also, if you're looking for something specific in this video, I should have chapters on, so feel free to skim around, find whatever you need. So this section of the video is going to address how to coordinate your training and make yourself develop really quickly. This is the path that I follow to get stronger, and if you follow it as well and keep up with it, you can be just as strong as me, as long as you just keep your head in it, and you just keep following it. So, we'll discuss everything in detail, but the short version of it is you're going to want to put on muscle. Lots of muscle. After you do that, you know, get some stamina training, depending on the build you're going for, it'll change from there, but you'll be getting faster, stronger, and more durable. And then you'll be strong in no time. Keep in mind, this will go through a lot of money, and it will take a lot of time, but it will make you very, very strong. This is the easiest type of training to get burnt out on, but if you persist and make it out onto the other side, you'll be way stronger for it. So now, regardless if you're a muscle or lean build, you're going to have a muscle arc. Why is that so? Because having high muscle raises your stamina soft cap so that it is easier to train later. How much muscle should you get? Well, from 0 stamina to 1,000 stamina, you're going to want 400 total muscle. From 1,000 to 3,000, you're going to want 800 total muscle. And if you wanted to go beyond that, from 3,000 to max, which is 4,650, you're going to have to get 1,500 total muscle. Me personally, when I did this, I went 800 total muscle so I could get 3k stamina. But I have a few notes for when you do this. For one, don't get too much muscle too fast because it can make stamina training slower. So make sure you pace yourself as you move up in your amounts of muscle. Two, I didn't get fat because I didn't want to deal with it, but I heard fat can help with getting stamina, saw caps as well. Three, I have heard from a few people that the only thing that helps with getting stamina is upper body muscle, but when I did it, I used both upper and lower, so do so. You know, wh whatever you have more faith in. Once you have the appropriate amount of muscle for what you're going for, grind stamina treads and don't stop until you reach your goal. Again, I recommend 3k. Once you reach your goal, you'll have a lot of leftover muscle as a muscle build, so make sure to keep that. But if you're lean, a lean player, you should slim down overnight with a muscle fat loss macro in an apartment overnight. Wear a light vest and a breathing mask and just get back down to 240 total muscle. So right after your stamina arc, it'll be a little hard to train strike power considering how much stamina you have right now. So we're going to get your stamina drain up so that you have some room. Not to mention more strike speed is going to make your strike power training faster as well as, uh, you know, go get some training for that. For a muscle build, speed isn't as important so you can aim for about 600 at max. And as a lean build, you can go for 750 to 800. And you should be good. If you're a Raishin build like me, you can rationalize going above that. This part is also going to cost a lot of cash, and it'll take a while. So you don't need to completely finish it, but make sure you eventually hit your goal. Regardless of your build, you're going to want some strike power. Muscle builds stop training at 400, but lean builds should keep training strike power for as long as they can. The absolute max you should go for at this point is probably 2,000, but a solid amount to have is 1,000. So I'd go for that, and once your other stats catch up, come back and get some more. This is much easier than the previous ones. Get your, like extremely strong friend get them to do your durability now I, I have had actually a few times people in the comments have said Zen I can't do durability training I do not have any friends well to that I say 
I don't want to hear it because there are thousands of players on Mighty. They all need to do durability training. Talk to some people in the Discord. Join an organization. Find someone willing to do dura with you. If anything, as a last resort, make an all ease for durability training. So find a friend. Do dura training on the weekends for the 1.5 times bonus. Aim for around 1,000 as that's a very solid amount for an average player. Once your other stats catch up, you should be able to build up to max or as close as you can get to max. This is a less important stat, but it'll help you in PvP, running away or catching up to people trying to run away from you. It's especially important for my other Mikazuchis out there as well. So make sure you get at least 1000 running speed, or if your stats are all really high, like I've been previously telling you to get, aim even higher, go for like 1.5k or 2k get really fast it helps a lot trust me so a few of you have asked me about my moveset I use a hybrid calculated strikes Mikazuchi build so I combine a lot of different styles but if you guys want some purist builds meaning you mainly stick to the skills of one style in particular I got you also here's a few ground rules for this part of the video if you have Mikazuchi Kure or own you can replace the sidekick and jolt hook in most of these builds I'm about to give you with lightning flash, vanishing combo, lion bite, elbow cut, or raging blow because those are super good moves to have. For this take jab rush, make sure you're super fast with it. Take liver blow, gazelle punch, overhead counter, jolt hook, and sidekick. You can, you know, of course replace jolt hook with raging blow and you can get rid of sidekick as well. Uh, you could go for lightning flash and vanishing combo, or is it cure, take elbow cut, and lion bite. For a build like this, you'll want to take suplex, elbow drop, body slam, iron boulder, bear hug, and shoulder bash. You can replace bear hug with raging blow, or if you want to use Mika moves, get rid of bear hug and shoulder bash for lightning flash and vanishing. Cure is not really recommended for wrestling though. For this build, I can recommend Jolt Hook, Jawbreaker, Crushing Stomp, Knuckle Blast, Superman Punch, and Sidekick. But if you think you can get good at timing iframes for a counter, and you honestly believe you can get good at it, you may want to pick up Weave and replace it with either Crushing Stomp or Superman Punch. For this build, you should take Sidekick, Chest Thrust, High Kick, Solid Strike, Jolt Hook, and Jab Rush. Although you can substitute Jolt Hook for Devil's Lance, Raging Blow, or Vanishing Combo, you can also substitute Jab Rush for Lightning Flash or Lion's Bite. For this, you should take Roundhouse Kick, Flying Teeth, Piercing Elbow, Tiger's Bite, Sidekick, and Jolt Hook. You can replace Jolt Hook with Raging Blow as well. For this, definitely take Striking Palms, Bear Hug, Shoulder Bash, Floor Quake, Body Slam, and Elbow Drop. But if you get the opportunity, always replace Elbow Drop with Raging Blow. This will make your build way stronger. You could also replace Elbow Drop with Vanishing Combo and do tons of damage that way as well. generally recommended with capoeira to just take the style and then do a hybrid with other skills but if you want to do a pure for it you can take around the world double stingray leaping monkey party table sidekick and dragon claw for this take spin kick question mark kick heel thrust kick flurry sidekick and jolt hook substitute as necessary and you know get rid of jolt for a Raging Blow, or, you know, both the Sidekick and Jolt Hook for the Mikazuchi skills. Kung Fu is actually, like, super good. Take Dragon Claw, Snake Bite, Monkey Counter, Crane Stance, Sidekick, and Tiger Hunt. Although, you can replace Tiger Hunt with Raging Blow, or It and Sidekick for Mikazuchi and Kirei techniques. 
For a pure Kyrie build, you could do Ice Slice, Elbow Cut, Lion Bite, Sidekick, Dragon Claw, and Jolt Hook. Now, uh, pure Raishin kinda doesn't exist because there isn't a pure skill, and for the fact that, in my opinion, Lightning Counter and Thunderclap aren't that great, at least not compared to the other Raishin skills. If you want a very generic Raishin build, here's one. Lightning Flash, Sidekick, Jolt Hook, Dragon Claw, Vanishing Combo, Gazelle Punch. Now uh, for this one, get Jawbreaker, Dragon Claw, Sidekick, Devil's Lance, Gazelle Punch, and Crushing Stomp. You could substitute Gazelle Punch and Crushing Stomp for Lightning Flash and Vanishing Combo as well if you're Mikazuchi. Elbow Cut and Line Bite if you're Kure, and you can substitute Crushing Stomp for Raging Blow if you're an Own. This is very important as everyone has to do Trial of 100 and Trial of 200 to get stronger and, you know, with the new removal farming method people have to fight the Kure Instructor to level up removal. You'll also need to defeat Luke Zin to get a flow book, so make sure you learn this method of fighting NPCs. Here's how you do it. Get some distance and charge up some rhythm. The further you are, the better because this makes them fake you out more often so you can get guaranteed punishes. Wait for two fake outs. Sometimes they do one fake out and commit, so it'll be way more obvious if you're far away for that part. As they run towards you and you know they aren't faking you out anymore, hold your guard out. This forces the NPC to try to guard break you, and as soon as you get close, Right as they are in front of you, dodge backwards, run forward, and then punish them. Try to do a solid combo and then back up so you can reset the NPC. Continue this for however long and you win against pretty much any NPC in the game. Now the only exception I found is against um, sumo builds typically. They can muscle poise out of your hits so as you combo them try to slowly walk backwards so if they poise out they usually miss you at that point. This works against any and all NPCs, so learn the method and you are good. Best thing I can say about getting flow is worry about getting the book last. Do everything else, right? You end up finding the book first, cool, but don't prioritize it over the other requirements. If you follow the advanced training portion of this video for long enough, you should get to 100 TP pretty quickly, so don't worry about that part. Follow the how to fight NPC section to clear out the tower of 100 and then you're ready to get the book. Bring some of your stronger friends who already have flow to boost your chances of getting the book. Beat Luke Sin's ass, get that book, go meditate for 30 minutes in an apartment. Make sure you have an auto clicker on so you don't get AFK kicked. You'll know it's working because for the last 5 minutes of that 30 minutes, your eyes will be closed and then you'll get the cutscene and then you have flow. A few of you guys asked me about edits, so I can give you some ideas right here. So, Sidekick is a very unique move used exclusively for its range and stun, so here's how you edit it. Low cooldown, no power, mid speed, but if you're fast, make it no speed, and max range. Put 3 upgrades in range and 2 upgrades in cooldown. So I use pretty much one edit for most of my moves, so if you want to use this, go ahead. I take things like combo extenders and finishers, and I go for max power, max cooldown, no speed, uh, because I'm fast, but you can have like mid speed if you need it, and no range. This makes the damage on your skills as high as possible, and then do 3 damage upgrades and 2 cooldown upgrades. Max cast speed, max grip power, max CD, and lowest super armor. This will make it easy to hit bear hug, and this will give the most stamina drain on it using what you want. Get 3 upgrades on grip power and 2 on cooldown. This move is especially prevalent on speed, so you have to edit it a little differently. For this, you want to go max speed, no cooldown, no range, no power. 
If you aren't fast enough to make it work with this edit, try maxing out your cooldown. I've heard that flash jab edits are a little different though, but I'm unsure how those are. You might want to put three edits in speed and two in cooldown. So I want my flash to do a lot of damage, so me personally, I keep the range mid, but if you want to snipe people, you can max out the range. Then uh, take max power, max cooldown, and low speed if you're fast, or mid speed if you're slow. Want to have something you can spam and is easy to hit, so to pop those guards, give yourself minimum power, max speed, max range, and low cooldown. A few of you guys have asked me about aptitudes, so what are some really good ones? Well, for aptitudes, there's like two hemispheres for what's good. You've got PvP and then training. So I'm going to list off some good PvP aptitudes first. Unbreakable is good, Determination, Gifted, Allrounder, Style Specialist, Unyielding Resolve, Fire's Aptitude Flash, Fire's Aptitude Gorilla Grip, Conditioned Hulk, Calculated Strike, and uh, here's some, you know, pretty good training ones. Gluttons, good, Lazy Larry, and like every genetic aptitude is great for that also. Uh, some of these aptitudes also require you to have special movesets, like taking Jab Rush for Flash, or taking Bear Hug for Gorilla Grip, and, you know, taking moves that ordinarily knock you back as combo extenders for Calculated Strike. This section of the video is pretty much just for the minor things you guys have asked me in the comment section, so I'm going to address, you know, as many of those things as possible. Jack Pona says, can you show us how you use the style EXP converter? So I'm going to be honest, this is super simple to do, but it's pretty buggy so I don't really blame you for asking. All you really want to do is make sure you have enough M coins for the conversion and if it says something is wrong on top, or you know something went wrong, just rejoin, try again and it should work fine. Sometimes pressing refresh will break the menu and you'll also have to rejoin, but besides that, you can just put in the number for the amount of XP you need. Make sure you press enter, select the styles you need, and then click convert and you're done. The fanboy asked, if you get an alt and make it remove its new protection, then just make it hit you during durability training, will you get more stats since it's more hits? I actually mentioned this in the beginner's guide, but I'm going to say it one more time because you guys have to know this for dura training. More damage is better training. Get your strongest friend, get him to pop his mode, do your dura training in like 4 hits, and you'll get the most amazing dura. Do not buy an alt and have it do like 20 puny hits because that's hardly going to affect your training. Mr. Noodle asked, does the determination aptitude stack with Brave? And here's the thing that's really important for you guys to know. Unless otherwise stated, buffs like this will always stack. So yes, Brave can stack with determination and it can also stack with all rounder or style specialist modes and your, your damage just keeps going up. That's actually how you get insane damage late game. So try to stack stuff like this as much as you can. I did touch up on this in the beginner's guide and a few of you had some things to say about it. The difference between a short person and a tall person is when you're short, you have faster running speed and striking speed, and when you're tall you have more reach and do extra damage. You can make a decision based off of preference, like, oh yeah, I'm tall, I want to capitalize on range, okay, then get Taekwondo. Or you're short and you want to be really fast, okay, go for Raishin or Boxing or Capoeira. Oh, I want to do hella damage, get Advanced Brawl or Muay Thai, it's all up to you and what you want to do in a fight. Mason Voorhees 8 asked, how long did it take for you to get those stats? So I've been personally playing since December of 2021, but I took a few months off of Mighty uh, to chill. During my stand mark actually I got super burnt out. So. It took about 10 months on and off playing the game to get where I am right now, 
exactly. You could get where I'm at right now in less time if you did take breaks like I did. So Link here wants to know about stamina management. So I can go more into detail about this in a PvP guide for later on, but I, I can give a few tips about it right now. So managing stamina, a good thing you want to always do is pay attention to the colons in your trait because that is like a marker for where you're never supposed to go underneath in a fight. Because once you go past the colons, you kind of start to sweat and your stamina drain gets worse. So, you know, chill around that area. When you start to get low, rely on your skills that strike enemies once, keeping them away. Like your M2s, your knockback skills like Crushing Stomp or Gazelle Punch. If you're fast enough, you can double tap your W key also to run around without running continuously for too long. This uses like little to no stamina. This gentleman with the name I cannot comprehend wants to know the conditions for learning a style. I did touch up on this in the beginner's guide actually, so in the Mighty Omega Info Discord, it pretty much just tells you all of those conditions, but on average you're going to want about 70 upper and 70 lower body muscle with a little strike power and style EXP on the side. For more information on this, I touch back on the previous guide. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. There's very little I can teach you guys besides that. There may be some other things like actual PvP to talk about. But I think before I make a whole, you know, comprehensive, in-depth, whatever, you know, a whole guide about that, I think I'll have to get way more into fighting people so I can talk about it as in-depth as I have for things like, you know, in this video. But for now, that's all. Use what I talk about in this video, and if you forgot something you think is important, you know, feel free to come back, use the information, it'll all be waiting for you, and, uh, you know, Get stronger and I'll see you guys in my next upload.